the body needs sugar. That's the argument that we hear for why keto and carnivore are a health trap that's going to ruin your life. Sugar is essential. To drive this point home, they talk about the fact that there's certain parts of the brain that only use sugar. And therefore, if we don't have sugar, we're not gonna be thinking clearly. When I look back at my history, zero to 40 whatever, I was eating standard American, Canadian, Caribbean diet, high in carbohydrates. And I thought I had mental clarity. Went through university, you know, studied a lot, read a lot, learn, love to learn. And I didn't realize until I started eating a low sugar diet, a keto diet, that I didn't have the mental clarity. My mental capacity improved so dramatically, noticeably. I was clear, I was focused, I was able to study even more. So did I have mental clarity? So did my brain actually need all the sugar that I was shoving in it? So if sugar is essential, what is it actually doing in the body and why do we really need it? Your body uses sugar for energy. That energy is used by the cells of your body and it's transported around your body in your blood. Your body can extract sugar from the foods that you eat. So all vegetation provides our body with a source of glucose. Grains, vegetables, fruits, legumes, nuts, and seeds, all vegetation. Your body keeps the level of sugar in your blood constant. This is essential. Too much, it's toxic to the body and lethal. And you know you have too much uh, sugar in your blood when you have symptoms like you're urinating a lot or you're extremely thirsty, you're extremely tired, you feel nauseous and you want to throw up, you, you have shortness of breath, you can have stomach pains, your, your breath can also have like a fruity odor to it, you have a very dry mouth and you have an extremely rapid heartbeat. Too little sugar in the blood is also very unhealthy. And you can know that you're having that situation because you can feel like shaky and anxious. You can also feel extremely tired, uh, weak. You could feel extremely sweaty. You're going to feel very hungry. You will also feel nauseous. You will also feel dizzy and lightheaded. You can have difficulty speaking and be very confused. Now you'll notice some of those symptoms overlap because too high or too little sugar in the blood is a problem. The average adult has five grams of sugar in their bloodstream at any particular point in time. That's one teaspoon of sugar. And your body actively keeps you at that one teaspoon saturation level. It's what it's aiming at. So I'm sitting here in front of you. I haven't eaten anything yet today. And I have the correct amount of sugar in my blood. What will happen when I eat. Of course, I'm adding sugar to the system. So how does our body keep us at five grams of carbs after we've eaten something? It starts in your mouth. From the moment that I put something in my mouth and I start chewing it and my taste buds taste sweet, a signal is sent to my brain and then my brain sends a signal to my body to get some processes started. Chewing activates my stomach to produce more stomach acid because my body is preparing for the incoming nutrients and energy that's entering my body. Insulin is triggered. Insulin is a hormone that the body uses to store away excess energy that comes into the body. So some of the energy that comes in will be used and some of it will be stored. How does the body store it? Glucose is stored away as glycogen in the liver and the cells, which is energy that's accessible to the body rather quickly. And we tend to store away one day's worth of energy as glycogen in the body. But we eat much more than one day's worth of energy from sugar on a daily basis, actually even on a meal per meal basis sometimes. So what happens to the rest of that energy? The body stores that away as fat. And your blood, it remained at five. Through these swift processes that your body does right away, it maintains your blood sugar at that five-ish range. It might go up a teeny bit, but then it comes back. It, it keeps you at five. And remember, it needs to stay at five. So as your day progresses and you're using energy, like I'm using energy right now, moving my arms around and doing stuff, clearly 
some energy is being pulled out of the glycogen stores into my blood. So like this process of storing and taking energy is happening consistently, continually throughout the course of the day. And as I deplete my glycogen stores over the course of the day, at some point, I will get the signal from my body, hey, you're hungry, and I will go off and I will eat more food to replenish myself and to get building blocks for myself. When I eat again, I will again store glycogen and fat. Wellness Warriors, did you notice an interesting problem in what I just said? You felt hungry after you depleted some of the glycogen stores in your body and you were pushed to go and find some more food. Your body did not deplete the fat stores. Although we can only store one day's worth of energy in our glycogen storage on our body, we can actually store months, even years worth of energy in our fat storage. I mentioned earlier that our body needs sugar as a fuel source. So what happens if I don't eat any sugar or minimal sugar for several days? How will my body manage its sugar needs? Gluconeogenesis. Yep. That means that your liver takes some amino acids and fats and creates glucose. Your body knows how to make sugar, which means that we don't actually ever need to eat sugar. Our body knows how to make sugar and can make all the sugar that we ever need. We see the evidence of this in the carnivore community, in the Inuit community that live decades, generations on healthy protein and fat. And we know that in the carnivore and healthy keto communities, weight is not only maintained, but healthy weight is resumed. Wellness Warriors, did you know that there's a better fuel source for the body than sugar? Click the link right there to watch the video where I tell you what you can use to fuel your body that doesn't create all the problems that sugar does and the weight gain that sugar does. Wellness Warriors, I love it so much when you come back and everybody who's new, subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss any of my videos and you can get on the road to health.